Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss some questions and the detailed solution of biology part of NEET question paper 2018. The motto of this video is for NEET aspirants to improve their answering skill and also encourage them to read the NCERT biology textbook because 90% of questions are directly from the textbook. So read each and every word in your textbook so that you can crack the biology section of NEET exam. So let us discuss some questions and the detailed solution. First question. Oxygen is not produced during photosynthesis by. Let's look the options. Si option 1 cycus, option 2 nostoc, option 3 green sulfur bacteria, option 4 cara. The answer is green sulfur bacteria. You know why? Oxygen is produced during photosynthesis in all green plants because in green plants Water is the hydrogen donor and it is oxidized to oxygen. Whereas in green sulfur bacteria and purple bacteria, instead of water, they use H2S. So the oxidation product will be sulfur or sulfate. So that here oxygen will not be evolved. So the option will be the green sulfur bacteria and the explanation is given. It is directly given in your biology textbook. Let's look the next question. Double fertilization is. Let's look the option. Fusion of two male gamete with one egg. Fusion of one male gamete with two polar nuclei. Fusion of two male gamete of pollen tube with two different eggs. Syngamy and triple fusion. It is also a direct question from your NCERT biology textbook. So the answer is syngamy and triple fusion. So let's look. Here in double fertilization, one of the male gamete fuses with the egg cell to form a zygote and the process is called the syngamy. The other male gamete fuses with diploid secondary nucleus to produce triploid primary endosperm nucleus and the and that process is called triple fusion. So the because because of the occurrence of two fusions, that is syngamy and triple fusion, this event is termed as double fertilization and it is a unique event to angiosperms. It is also a direct question from your NCRT biology textbook. Let's look the next question. Which one of the following plants show a very close relationship with the species of mouth where none of the two can complete its life cycle without the other? Let's look the option. Option 1 banana, option 2 yucca, option 3 hydrilla, option 4 viola. It is, it is an indirect question. In this question we should know the relationship between the organism and the mouth. So let's look the answer. Here the answer is yucca. So let's look what, what it is. Because in banana, hydrilla and viola only one species is benefiting. So in the question it specifically asked, it specifically said that where none of the two can complete the life cycle because it means that mutualism. In this mutualism, the interaction confers benefit on both interacting species. So the relation should benefit two species. So this benefit will be occur due, occur for only yucca and mouth. Whereas in case of banana, hydrilla and viola, only one species is benefiting. So here the answer is yucca. Because in plant yucca show a obligate mutualism with the species of mouth. Both cannot complete the life cycle without each other. So here the answer is yucca. Let's look the next question. Pollen grains can be stored for several years in liquid nitrogen having a temperature of minus 196 degrees Celsius, minus 80 degrees Celsius, minus 120 degrees Celsius, minus 160 degrees Celsius. So this is also a direct question from your NCRT textbook. Let's uh, let answer the question. 
the answer is minus 196 degree celsius the proof is it is it is a sentence directly given in your textbook it is possible to store pollen grains of a large number of species for several years in liquid nitrogen minus 196 degree celsius let's look the next question which one of the following elements is responsible for maintaining turgor in cells it is also yet another direct question from your textbook so that let's look the option option 1 potassium option 2 sodium option 3 magnesium option 4 calcium and the answer is potassium it is directly given in your mineral nutrition chapter refer your textbook here potassium help in the maintenance of turgidity of the cell next question what is the role of nad plus in cellular respiration let's look the option option 1 it is a nucleide nucleotide source for atp synthesis option 2 it function as an electron carrier option 3 it function as an enzyme option 4 it is a final electron acceptor for anaerobic respiration so what is nad plus nad means nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and the answer is it function as an electron carrier you know why in cellular respiration nad plus act as an electron carrier so here it is this it is uh, the solution is here is that electrons from nadh produced in mitochondrial matrix during citric acid cycle are oxidized by an nadh hydrogenase and the electrons are transferred to ubiquinone located within the inner membrane so it is also directly given in your textbook next question in which of the following forms is iron absorbed by the plants it is also a direct question given in your textbook let's look the option option 1 free element option 2 ferrous option 3 ferric option 4 both ferric and ferrous so the answer is ferric that was sentence directly given in your textbook that in mineral nutrition chapter here the plants obtain iron in the form of ferric ions let's look the other question in which of the following is commonly used as a vector for introducing a dna fragment in human lymphocytes so let's look the options option 1 lambda phage option 2 ti plasmid option 3 retrovirus option 4 pbr322 here the word we have to look on the question it is a one sort of indirect question we are introducing a dna fragment in human lymphocyte so let's look one by one so the first option is lambda phage lambda phage is It's a virus that infect a bacteria cell. Ti plasmid is a tumor introducing found in Agrobacterium tumefaciens because Agrobacterium tumefaciens is a pathogen of several dicot plants and it is able to deliver a piece of DNA to transform normal plant cell into a tumor. And what about the BR three twenty two? It is a commonly used plasmid cloning vector in E. coli. So the answer is retrovirus because retrovirus is commonly used as a vector for introducing a DNA fragment in human lymphocyte. So it is all. It is a indirect question, but we if we know the uh, uh, vectors, we can directly answer the questions. Next question the use of bioresources by multinational companies and the organization without authorization from concerned country and its people is called let's look the option first one biodegradation second one biopiracy third one bioenfrichment fourth one bioexploitation it is the wordings the sentence is directly given in your textbook so the let, let's look what is the correct answer here the correct answer is biopiracy 
this sentence is directly given in your NCRT textbook that means biopiracy is a term used to refer the use of bio resources by multinational companies and other organization without proper authorization from the country and the people concerned without compensatory payment. So let us discuss what other options are. What is biodegradation? Biodegradation, it is naturally occurring breakdown of material by microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi. Uh, third option is bioinfringement. That means a violation of an owner's exclusive right. Intangible assets such as musical, literary, artistic works. And what is bioexploitation? Bioexploitation, it is a form of competition wherein organisms indirectly compete with each other organism for resources. For this question, ask about the use of bioresources by multinational companies and the organization without authorization from the concerned country and the people. And it is called biopiracy. So the answer is biopiracy. So let's look the next question. In India, the organization responsible for assure, assessing the safety of introducing genetically modified organisms for public uses. Option 1. Research Committee on Genetic Manipulation, RCGM. Second option, Council for Scientific and Industrial Research, ICCSIR. Third option, Indian Council of Medical Research, ICMR. And the fourth option is Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee, GEAC. And the option is Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee, GEAC. This is also a direct question from your textbook. Here, the sentence given in your textbook is, Indian government has set up organizations such as GEAC, Genetic Engineering Approval Committee, which will make decisions regarding the validity of GM research and safety of introducing GM crops, GM organisms for bio public service. So that's all for today. Uh, so in this video, only few questions are answered. Uh, so later questions with detailed solution will be uploaded soon. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you.